Right, we're out today. And we're going for a little walk. And we're going to be talking about coronavirus. Everyone's going on about people over the age of 70 to be self-isolate for 12 weeks, he said this morning. So, three months. Now, <clears throat> what happens to the cur? Who's going to look after them? So, the cur support workers have had emails sent out saying, keep two metres distance. Well, try to keep two metres distance. How are you supposed to give personal care? How are you supposed to give how are you supposed to give personal care? So if you're looking after somebody you're going to the property two meters. Half of the living room is what we're going. We're only three meters or four meters. Bathroom. Not even a meter is it? Now wash your hands. Totally. when you go into a patient's house. Now, okay, that's fine, but they've got no kitchen roll. We can't get in here, because the shops, there's none left on the shelves. So, how do we go about that? Saying that the Boris Johnson's dad was on this morning. Boris, Boris Johnson said, no uh, going to the pubs, restaurants or anything like that. Boris Johnson's dad's been on this morning, said he'll be going to the pub. So, it's like, listen to your dad, Boris. So, I don't know, it's a big thing now and everyone's on about the elderly staying in and doing this and can't go in and you can't go there. What about the cursed support workers who's got to go to these properties, got to look after these people? And then they're sending you in, you've got different areas of a town why can't the care support workers stay in one area to minimise the risk? We've got calls what you go to and it's you go into four different four different calls a day, different people. Now if you're going to that four calls a day, four different people going in, say it's three say it's four calls a day for that one person and you've got four different support workers going in. Now that is not controlling the infection, the virus. So keep it minimal. You've got the two, if you're gonna change, have one curler doing the four calls a day and another one doing the next four calls a day. Don't, if you've got a double up, why should you be changing different co-workers who you work with keep with the same ones and then at least if, the, if it does come out that somebody's got coronavirus you can pinpoint exactly where it's come from instead of you oh, I've been to 12 different places uh, I can't remember which who I work with I can't remember yeah it probably be logged on the system but then it's it's infected even further by this other woman's family's been round and they've been to see her then that's been passed on, then it's gone somewhere, that's letting the virus spread. Keep it minimal. I'll go into one person with somebody else. For example, I'll go in with A. Now, the other person who's on the same group as us, they'll work with B, and they'll stay with that A and B. So then basically, if anything does happen, and I say I can't, I can't, I can say, well, I work with A. I work with A. And we went in 
um, this lady's house, this man's house, and this is the ones what we've, we've looked after. That will then keep it to a minimal who we've been to and what we, what we, who's caught it. Instead of going four, five different houses, spreading it, and then somebody else is going in at four calls a day, that's eight, that's 12 people. 12, it could be 16 people by the end of the day that's been in that house. So I don't agree with it. I do not agree with that. If you're saying lockdown, right, who's going to look after him? Then they're saying, uh, Dr. Hillary Jones, he said this morning, use the, uh, the, the screens, the, uh, like, the Lady Diana thing thing. Use them. So it's like, who's, who's telling us what to do and what to wear and what to, to say? We've got to ask these questions. Isn't it better to make a phone call to the next of kins asking them, could they possibly help? Do a little bit of care and cooking for the mum or the dad. Why this outbreak's happening? That will probably stop a lot more and keep it to a minimum. They've only got the, the son or the daughter going in. If we're going in, it could be four or five curlers going in to see how she is, how she's is feeding her the medications. So two meters isn't going to work. Two meters isn't going to work, not one bit. Like I said, keep it to a minimum. I'll work with A, you work with B keep it that way that's the two of us or three of us that's going into the same property don't be giving us or giving people care workers three or four different people to work with three different three different four sorry three or four different people to work with or four or five different uh, patients let's just try and make it as less as possible like the government is telling us to do I mean, the saying, oh, take your dog out for a walk, you can still go out and take your dog for a... Well, if it's self-isolating, don't go out. Keep the elderly safe. We're not, help we're not keeping them safe if we keep going in, different people. Let's try and ask the families to help. There's too many, uh, bit of scaremongering going on. And to be honest, it is frightening people now. Um, people are frightened of going out. And obviously, they've got to go to the people. Another one, people are not going to say that they feel ill. Because then they're going to be off for two weeks without any pay. So that's then another one what's going to spread the virus. Because people are not wanting to say that they're ill. Because otherwise it's going to affect their income. They've got mortgages to pay, they've got bills to pay. We've all got it. So people are not going to own up and say, I don't feel well, I'll have to self-isolate. They're not going to do it because they're not going to get paid. Then that goes out and spreads the infection, or the virus even more. So that's my thoughts on it. Let's just try and help people, but keep it to a minimal of who we see so then we can always pinpoint who we've been to who we've worked with and what we've done keeping it to the same minimal people as well will also let us notice any changes in them so if we went into one and we said oh she doesn't look well oh she looks all right today but she doesn't look well today but the next person who's never been in before Oh, it might be just the norm. She's usually always like that. So, I don't agree with the uh, let's do this and let's do that and different people spreading everything about different areas. So let's see what we can do to help each other. Give us your thoughts and your reviews on this uh, because I don't think it's right. What's good for one is good for the others, for all of us. We can't just keep bowing down. 
It's just scaremongering us. And then obviously if we don't do it, we're going to get, oh, you could lose your job or you could, I don't want to lose my job, but I also don't want to have the virus. I pass it on to my daughter or my, my daughters or my kids, my grandkids and that. I don't want to do it. I don't want to, I don't want to spread it anywhere. So let's try and sort it out where we keep to a minimum for the curers, every curer company in, the, in this country should keep it to a minimum who they work with and who they see. Don't be take, I mean, for example, the hospitals are saying, if you've got, and the doctors, if you've got uh, respiratory problems, please call, dial 111. Do not go to the hospital and do not go to your doctors. Now, if, for example, they come out of hospital and they've got these respiratory problems, they send them home, will they take them back? If we find out there's an unfair discharge for them, that the equipment's not there for them, that the medication's not there for them, will the hospitals take them back because it's an unsafe discharge? So there's questions there what nobody's asking. I mean, they're all going on about, oh, self-isolate the 70 year or over 70s and that. Who's going to look after them? Who is seriously going to look after them? Unless the social workers and the families get involved, the families should get phone calls or contact them and say, is there any chance you could look after your mum, your dad, your relative, to keep the virus away from us. Keep us all isolated as much as we can. No curders are saying that they don't want to go to work, but they just want to go to work safe. That's all they want. They don't want any aggro. They just want to be able to go home to the family, knowing that the family's safe, that they've only been into contact with one or two or three people a day, not five or six different people, not working with different care workers and other members who's been in before you. Keep that virus at bay. Let's see if we can work, all of us work together with it. Help each other. Anyway, keep in touch. Uh, give us your thoughts and your messages, what you think, and any opinions, what you think as well, any advice, what you think I could, what we could all put together and help each other with. But, uh, yep. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Um, I don't even know if to say I like this video, but, yeah, subscribe and give us your thoughts. Thank you for watching and hope everyone's safe and well. Thank you. Bye.